What is good you guys? Today has already been a hell of a morning already. Um, it's not even one o'clock yet and it's just been one of those days. Bolo! I was up late last night making beats. Just caught into a little groove last night. Um, I didn't get to sleep till around three and then I had to wake up at seven o'clock to get the kids ready. On the way to school, my daughter was trailing us and some lady was walking her dog in the middle of the street. I missed the dog, but the car that was coming in coming to us, uh, the dog like got in the middle of the road. He kind of swerved a little bit. My daughter was behind me. She swerved like almost down the embankment, but she caught it, came back at the last second and just shredded her tires. So we had to go drop her car off to the tire place, I had to take her to school, um, had to go pay for some brand new tires, had to go back, pick her up from school, and it was just it was just a crazy morning, so it was crazy. But there is a silver lining to this story. Yeah, dog, I had to do it. Had to try this. I was about to say Chick-fil-A. Had to try this uh, spicy chicken sandwich from Popeyes. And I ain't gonna lie, it was good. It's giving Chick-fil-A a run for his money because it's bigger pieces of chicken too, and it's, and it's good, it's good. That little sauce they put on it, it's really good. But um, yeah, it was, it was good. And I had a, a dope strawberry Fanta with it too. Yeah, it was really good, but Today, you know, was a crazy day. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna see if I can actually make a beat in song mode, use the MPCX. Now, I'm a big advocate for like being able to, you know, edit our tracks in track mode while using the laptop with the MPCX. Only thing is I'm doing everything um, internally. So I'm doing everything in standalone mode and um, I'm gonna do everything. I'm, I'm gonna try to sequence it out in a way to where, you know, I can make a whole song with it and just try to do it, you know, the old school way. I'm really kind of against it, but at the end of the day, if you're doing things in standalone mode, you're gonna, you're kind of forced to do it that way anyway. But at least the chicken sandwich was really good. It was really good. But I'm gonna try to do it real quick. I already got a beat pretty much made. Um, I might change up a few bass lines or whatever, and I'm gonna just sequence everything out, see how I feel about it. Hopefully it is dope. So I'll play the song at the end of the video. But before we get to that, make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, and please turn on those post notifications so you will know the next time I have another video available. So let's go ahead and get to it right now. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and open this thing up. Browse my five X. See what we got so far. Turn this on. So pretty much I got the track um, done. It's, it's very simple. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a sequence. I'm gonna do an intro. I'm gonna do a hook, which is gonna be in two parts. I'm gonna do um, a 12 bar verse. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just, I'm just gonna repeat it from there. I'm gonna do like a few bass dropouts and stuff like that. So let me see how this works. This is probably like maybe the second or third time I've even tried this, but I've never really done it to where I have to actually go in and kind of like delete some notes and stuff like that, but we'll see how it turns out. So basically if I can kind of zoom in a little bit, what I'm gonna do is at the top part of the screen where it says sequence right here, what you can do is you can go right here to this little edit tool and you can name this. I'm gonna name it intro and okay. So right now it's named intro and what you can do from here is you can just copy and paste into, you know what I'm saying, the next uh, sequence. So this is sequence one, it's called intro. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, copy this into the second sequence. I'm gonna call it hook one. Then I'm gonna do, copy the next sequence. I'm gonna call it hook two. And then I'm gonna do all the verses V1, V2, V3, cause it's gonna be a 12, 12 bar verse. And uh, I'm just gonna do that real quick. So 
Hopefully I can zoom it in a little bit. I don't have like one of them big elaborate like things to float over the MP. So I'm just gonna have to explain it as I go. So let me just do this real quick. Got everything done now. Um, right now we're gonna work on the intro. I'm gonna just take out a few parts. I'm gonna take like the, like the bass and I'm gonna take the uh, hi-hats out. And uh, the hook, everything is gonna come in. Well, yeah, I gotta take out the little lead part too. Um, the hook, everything's gonna come in. But on the second hook, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out um, like the last bar or maybe two bars of the uh, bass line. Um, and then from there, I'm gonna go to the verses. I'm gonna take out the lead part um, throughout the verses and might do a few subtle changes like in the bass line or whatever. And then uh, we're just gonna kind of see how this whole thing goes. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute out, mute out a lot of stuff in here. everything in it yeah So I went ahead and took um, most of the stuff I wanted out. Like I just muted out some of the sounds. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and I'm going to sequence the song. From there, I'm going to put everything together. And then from there, I'm going to do some fine tuning. I'm going to take a few bass parts out and I'm going to take a few hi-hat parts out and just kind of structure the beat, you know, how I like it. And then... Uh, Hopefully it'll sound good. So I'm gonna do everything inside of the MP. Even when I bounce it, I'm gonna bounce it directly from the MP out. Um, I'm gonna try to mix it as best as I can. I'm not gonna use Logic. I'm not gonna use nothing like that. It's gonna be everything from the MP. Let's see how it goes. And let me just do a little bit of correcting and getting this stuff right. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to it. So the first thing we gotta do is gotta put it in song mode. Uh, which you can just go into the uh, menu right here in this screen right here and just press song right here and what you can do now is as you can see on the pads right here if you can't see it it has like intro hook one hook two v1 v2 v3 and they're all assigned to the pads right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press record and once I press record, I can just punch in all the different sequences. So I'm going to start off with the intro. And it's going to be hook one, hook two, V1, V2, and V3. And then I'm going to go back to the hook, which is going to be hook one, hook two, V1, V2, V3. And we're going to do the hook one again and hook two. So now once I stop that, I basically have a whole sequence done now. Um, hopefully you guys can see it, um, but it's, it's it's pretty simple. So now that I did that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a little bit of the intro, the hook, and probably like four bars of the verse so you can check it out. Let's see how it turns out. <laughs> Okay, so y'all get the point. So it's in the sequence right now. So now I gotta fine tune it. Um, doing that 
does require a little bit, but it's very doable in here. It's not like how it used to be back in the day where all you just seen was like numbers. You actually can see your notes on the actual screen. So let me go ahead and take out a few base parts and um, just kind of figure this thing out. So uh, let's let's get to it. Hook two. I need to ground to the base. Take all of this out. Yeah, all of that. All right. So the crazy thing is, I was about to just erase the notes, but instead of just erasing the notes, why don't I just play like a whole different like bass pattern? So I'm just gonna play a whole different bass pattern for um, the uh, third verse sequence going into the hook, and uh, I think I'll be pretty much cool. Um, so. Let me do that. Let me just do a new bass pattern for it and uh, see how it turns out. Hopefully it turns out good on the first try. That wasn't it. That wasn't it either. All right, that was pretty cool. Got a, um, another little bass line in there. Sounds good. Um, I'm rocking with it for right now. I might switch it up later on, but for right now, it sounds good. So I'm gonna go ahead and sequence everything out. I'm gonna bounce this track down and I'm about to play this beat for y'all. So hopefully it comes out good. Um, I haven't really done any mastering stuff in here, nothing like that. So I'm just gonna play it exactly how it is. I'm just gonna kind of just level out a few sounds. And y'all guys tell me how it sounds to you. So um, just let me know. Let me know in the comments if, if you think it sounds pretty good being mixed directly out of the MP or should I just go ahead and just split up the tracks and just throw it in the logic somewhere and do it. So y'all let me know. So let's check out the beat right now. Mm -hmm. 